I'm Fred Dynage and I'm investigating the case of aristocrat Lord Richard Bingham and the shroud of mystery and murder that has enveloped the Lucan dynasty. Lord Richard Bingham had been the classic bachelor, enjoying dangerous sports and gambling. However, in 1963, at the age of 28, he met and married Veronica Duncan. I think he married her because he wanted an heir. Um, and I think he thought that he'd got a woman who would be compliant with his will. People say that she was very quiet around him, slightly in awe of him, and I think he liked that. And I think he expected her to sort of know her place and that he would carry on leading his playboy lifestyle and she would stay at home and raise the children. On the 21st of January, 1964, Lord Bingham's father died at the family home in Belgravia at the age of 65. With the death of the sixth Earl of Lucan, he inherits a great deal of money, and, of course, he inherits all the class privilege that the title Earl is going to bring. The interesting thing, of course, there are still some pressures on Lucan at this particular point because he's got to produce an heir. So quite clearly, he needs to get uh, Veronica pregnant as quickly as possible. But the photographs from the time when they're together, Fred, they're almost scowling out of the photographs. They genuinely do not seem happy in each other's company. They look attractive, they look glamorous, but my gosh, do they sometimes look as if they hate each other. The couple had three children over the next six years, Francis, George and Camilla. Surprisingly, Lucan had allowed Veronica to become a part of his gambling career, and it was from then on that cracks in their relationship began to show. Former crime journalist Bob Strange later on became embroiled in the Lucan story. As time went on, Veronica began to assert her own independence a little more and began to not be completely content to be sitting at home while he was out gambling and began to get worried about the state of the family finances and, and the finances that would care for her children and his, his children in the years to come. And, of course, she would watch him gambling sometimes at the, was it the Claremont Club. Yes, they had their seat, which was called the Widow's Bench, if I remember rightly, um, and she and other wives would, would sit there and, and chit-chat while their husbands were, were busy gambling, sometimes through into the early hours of the morning. Um, Lady Lucan has said since that she didn't mind that, that, she, that that was quite a pleasant way for her to spend her evenings, but all of Lucan's friends at the time recall it being a, a more and more of a source of friction. She was not of the same class of, as Lord Lucan, didn't have quite the same aristocratic background as Lord Lucan. And we're talking now about a time that, that when that really did matter. The whole marriage was characterised by Lord Lucan thinking, I am an aristocrat, I have this deep, deep family background. Veronica probably is not quite up to my standing in life and she should be grateful that she's married to me and I should be able to do whatever I want. Lord and Lady Lucan seemed to the outside world to be a rich and handsome couple. But behind closed doors, it was a different story. <laughs> 